Good morning. It is Monday. I have just gotten home from the gym. Um, I feel like a lot of my vlogs are, might be a little bit repetitive just because my weeks do look pretty similar, uh, like gym, uni, work, etc. Uh, but I did a upper body session, sort of like shoulder and back focus. Got a little, got a little pump happening. <laughs> uh, I need to get out of the habit of saying um. I watched my last vlog and I said um and so yeah so many times. But I am going to hold off making breakfast, like post-workout breakfast. I'll do a bit of uni work. Uh, and then I have work this afternoon, 4 till 8. So yeah, pretty standard Monday for me. Gym, uni work, work. Hello, happy Tuesday. I didn't end up vlogging pretty much anything yesterday. I went to the gym as you saw that was me in the morning and then um, I just kind of chilled out, did some uni work before going to work. I just didn't vlog, I hit like two o'clock and I just couldn't continue. I was so tired. I had to go and get a huge sugar-free energy drink before starting work, but woken up, feeling better this morning. Uh, I have uni, uh, it's currently 7.40. Um, I have my first class at 9.40, but I'm going to leave soon because I'm going to catch the bus today because parking has been a nightmare. Um, but I have chemistry for three hours, which is not going to be fun. And then I just have a one hour break and then I have a one hour class and I finish at 2.30. Then I'll head off to the gym. Unfortunately, as cool as it would be, I can't uh, take my phone into my chemistry lab. So I won't really be able to show you guys much today. But I'm just ready. I'm comfy because I have chem. Like, it's really hot, but because I have chem, I have to wear closed-in shoes. So, I've got my connies, some nice comfy shorts that kind of look like pajamas, um, and just, like, a spandexy top. And then, once I finish at 2.30, I'll go to the gym. I've got legs. Oh, yeah, I've got all my stuff there. I always have so much stuff. Like, I have my uni backpack, which is literally bigger than anybody else's. <laughs> My lunchbox, gym bag, water bottle, and she's ready. Gym channel. Hi, Hi YouTube. YouTube. Oh, I got it! I got it! God, <laughs> that's bad. <fun. laughs> I honestly apologize for the lack of videos. Uh, it is Wednesday, and it's eight forty. Um, I've just rocked up. I'm teaching a booty class this morning at work um, and then I am going to go home, have some pre and then I'm training with my friend Amanda um, from work so I'll probably try and show a little bit of that. She's pretty happy to be in front of the camera which is cool, she kind of gets it. She um, has quite a following, give her a follow Amanda Fit on Instagram um, and then I am going to my plan is just to sit at my computer until like five o'clock and just watch lectures, do readings and just smash it out. Get myself an energy drink, whatever I've got to do to get it done. But I woke up this morning, a new low weight, 64.3, which is pretty wild. Uh, I started prep at around 70 kilos. I did like a pre-prep sort of phase. Uh, where I lost about four to five kilos uh, just so it was like a bit easier during prep I didn't have to lose so much weight so yeah I am sitting at 64.3 we're thinking stage weight will be somewhere around the 60 kilo mark uh, but because I'm doing nationals I might come in a bit heavier first comp and then maybe try and come in tighter for nationals it all depends on the judging um, feedback as well I have a headband on so it kind of looks like I'm bald in this lighting but yeah, I'll probably check in when I'm at the gym with Amanda. So I didn't end up vlogging anything at the gym, but I did record some of my workouts. So I might insert it into the video. Uh, and then I just did cardio. And then I got home at about 3, 2.33. And I just did some uni work, did some housework, washing, things like that. And now I'm just walking to my boyfriend's because he lives around the corner from me. Good morning. It is Thursday morning. It is uh, quarter past seven. 
am just dressed to go to the gym. I've had my pre-workout meal. Um, I have this really cute thing going on in my face. So that's fun. Um, I'm about to go do legs. It's a hard leg session, so this will be interesting. And then come home. Oh, actually, I've got to go to the shops to sort out a little bit of stuff. It's me my boyfriend's anniversary on Monday, so I've just got to sort out some stuff for his little gift. Um, and then I'm going to come home, do uni work, and then I have work this afternoon uh, at 3.30. <sighs> just finished at, well, not just finished, but I've just come from the gym to the shops. And I just... I can't stand when I have to go to the shops after going to the gym because I just get stared at. Like, I'm literally in a shirt, like a baggy t-shirt and sh bike shorts. And every single man just gawks. And I just go like, what are you looking at? Like, I'm not the type to smile because I can tell that they're, like, looking me up and down. So I just make them feel really uncomfortable and I try and stare back at them. Um, but, yeah. Lucky I had my baggy t-shirt, otherwise I probably wouldn't have gone in. But I've just picked up some stuff for mine and my boyfriend's one year anniversary. He won't see this until after our surprise picnic anyway. So, because I'm on pretty bit of, bleh, cause I'm on a bit of a tight budget with um, being in prep and stuff like that. Um, I just thought I would do something kind of more meaningful rather than giving him like a gift. So, I've gone and I got like a big photo frame. And I edited this photo of us and I put like 365 and like the date of when we started dating and that on it, which I thought was kind of cute. And then I'm going to make him a cake. He loves Biscoff. So I've got some cake mix at home and I'm going to break up like the Biscoff cookies and put it throughout the cake. And then I'm also going to try and mash these up and put a one in the middle of the cake. And then I'm going to melt some of this Biscoff and then... I'm going to stick these. I found these little cookies. And I was meant to grab... I thought I grabbed the one with the literal Biscoff filling in the middle. But I realised I grabbed vanilla. But that's okay. I'm going to kind of like maybe stick those like around the cake. Um, and yeah, drizzle the Biscoff kind of all over. And then I'm going to get uh, just like a little bowl and put some lollies and chocolate in it. And then I'm going to try and make him a really yummy sandwich. You know like on TikTok all those like, you know, crazy sandwiches that everyone's like sandwich talk everyone's posting um i'm gonna try and make him something i don't know if i'll do maybe like steak and he loves like caramelized onion um or like maybe like he loves salami so maybe something like that um i'm not too sure and then i also just needed a new phone case so I got one of those. and i really want a new phone still have an iphone 11 uh but unfortunately it's just not in the budget right now hopefully you can hear me but i've just changed into my shorts for work and I'm giving myself the go over with my sister's massage gun because the tension in my traps and neck from posing practice is actually wild like one minute it's okay and then it's just cooked and today is one of those days where it's just cooked hello it's Friday I am currently on my lunch break <laughs> And I forgot my cutlery. So I'm using the world's tiniest teaspoon to eat my chicken and rice. Um, but the one perk is it's going to take me way longer to eat it. So it feels like I have more food. I am just walking to work right now. Um, I don't get free parking at work, unfortunately. So I just park on the street. And then I walk but it's only like 500 meters. Um, so I'm working eight till 12 and then I will go home and get ready. I have a posing lesson at two. So I'm gonna go into the gym and do my posing lesson and then train upper body and do cardio. I'm just about to leave to go to the gym. I've had some food, got my outfit ready, my big baggy shirt for cardio um it's probably gonna get so sweaty by the end but posing lesson upper body session cardio and then steps depending on how many steps i've done by the time i've done all that 
and then I've got my bags ready to go grocery shopping. All right, time for a grocery haul. I just got back from the shops. I've been going to Audi lately and then to Woolies just to save myself a bit of money because I can get so much more bang for my buck um, at Woolies. There are certain things that I, I mean, sorry, Audi, there are certain things that I do have to get from Woolies just to stick to my macros. Um, but I've got some boring things, toilet paper and paper, well, paper towel and toilet paper. I've got um, Pepsi Max. I'm allowed to have this. Um, Coach said we'll probably cut stuff like this out probably about maybe like three weeks out just to reduce like bloating and stuff. And then if I do like a practice peak week and stuff, we obviously won't have it then as well. But it's nice to satisfy a sweet craving. Um, unsweetened almond milk. I use this in my shakes, my Ninja Creamy and my rest day breakfast. So I kind of go through this so quickly lately i've been getting like three um milks every time i go to the shops um teriyaki sauce pasta sauce bananas for my shakes chicken some of this is really boring tomatoes ham for my um loaded like Breakfast bagel, which you guys would have seen. It's like my favorite thing to eat at the moment. Spinach. Two packets of crumpets. I have crumpets uh, with honey as my pre-workout. And I love having the crumpets. So I'm going to be really sad when they go to corn thin. Sorry, I'm just looking at my dog. She's breathing really funny. I don't know if you guys will be able to see from here, but... And the little puppies. Anyway, um, yeah, crumpets, lettuce. I have so much lettuce as well because adding like a lot of volume to my meals without the added calories. Low carb bagels. Sometimes Woolies is sold out of these. Lately they've had them, so I've been grabbing two or like three packets every time. But lately I'm just grabbing one because. Um, I don't want to overload on them and then them be taken out of my meal plan. Strawberries, avocado, yopro, cherry tomato, skin, uh, bleh, skinless salmon, extra lean beef mints, pumpkin, Lebanese cucumber, zucchini. And mushrooms. I think that's pretty much it. Lately, I've been having to kind of go to Woolies like during the week just to get like a random things like when I run out of like Yopro and stuff like that. But this should get me through until next week. I am all tucked into bed. It is 10.30. I'm drinking my sleep time hot chocolate. Um, it's got like ashwagandha, gamma and stuff in it. It's just from Emerald Labs. And I'm going to lay my head down and go to sleep. Wild Saturday nights in prep. I just finished at the gym. It is 10.30. Um, I did uh, 45 minutes on the treadmill and 30 minutes on the Stairmaster. It is pissing down today, so it means I need to get all my steps done inside. Um, I'm only doing 10k and I've gotten myself at 6,500 by 10.30, so... I should get to 10k for the remainder of the day. I gotta go to Woolies and stuff. Um, but yeah, just a little update. I had my check in yesterday um, from my coach, and she is over the moon. She's so happy with how everything's going. Um, yesterday was a really good day. Like, got my positive feedback for my check in. Calories are staying the same. I can't believe that I am less than eight weeks out, and I'm still eating just under 2,000 calories on a training day. That's why it's so important, like, to, if you're thinking about being in a calorie deficit, you need to spend the time of going into a surplus, because I brought my calories up to, like, between 2,500 and 2,700, that was my maintenance, and I wasn't really gaining any weight, um, which can be a good or a bad thing, depending on what your goals are, but... Um, I brought my ma maintenance right up so that when I was in prep, I wasn't absolutely starving. Because um, I know some girls that are in the same stages of prep as me and, you know, they're eating like 1,300 calories. 
um, which I understand, you know, everyone's different. Um, some girls are much shorter than me. Like, I'm 181 centimetres, so I am quite tall. Um, so my maintenance is probably able to be a bit higher than uh, some other girls. But yeah, and then I had my uh, posing session yesterday, and that was so good. Um, Nat, the head of Nat Kidney Posing Coach, um, she said I'm a really good poser and um, that I'm you know really easy and I get the hang of things really quickly so that was so nice to hear and um, we started adding some sass and just like some individualized individualization is that a word I think it is some individualization to my routine um just like some little shoulder pops and some little you know hand gestures and things like that so yeah really really good now I'm gonna go to Woolies go home I was planning on doing a um, picnic today for my and my boyfriend's anniversary. I was going to surprise him because it's our anniversary tomorrow. But it is shit weather. So I'm having to improvise. I'm going to set up in the guest room, like downstairs. Maybe put some candles. And I'm making him a steak and caramelized onion sandwich. And I've made him a cake. And I got him lollies and things. So hopefully he likes it. And then I've got a meal prep, edit this video, upload this video. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. Thanks guys for watching. Hopefully I will upload my third video. So I'll be, that will be my seven weeks out video. No, eight weeks out video. I'm already confused, but yeah. I hope this one was better. I hope I didn't say um and yeah as many times.